what it do homies it's your boy dave and i'm back today so i did a reaction to the uh hell of a boss their their season right they had one that came out a few a uh, couple of what was a couple of days ago last week right and then um of course it was hilarious and did not understand what was going on you know aside from what was you know being shown but a lot of you guys down in the comments was telling me that i needed to go and look at the pilot right because this is kind of like the introduction for the characters and introduction to the story so hopefully we're gonna check this uh well not hopefully we're gonna check this out which is probably gonna bring me some, a little bit more clarity into uh what i just watched on my uh, last reaction for them so let's go ahead shut up turn it up learn about these characters All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have <laughs> any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Hey, hey, is that kind of leading up to that billboard we saw in that, uh, that other episode? <laughs> Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? <laughs> ah, those were the good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People <laughs> love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you going to crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Don't Sir, do that too. right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush Relatable? his dreams, Moxie? I... What? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Okay, it ain't relatable to me, but I feel like that what he just says, that crushing his dreams is relatable to some people. <laughs> Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? <laughs> After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here. After the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jobber who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well. Because we come straight up from hell. We'll kill your husband or your wife. We'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. Doctor, he's not. Oh, that's really interesting. You know, I was wondering what that imp stood for, right? Because imp is kind of like a character that you would think is in hell. Like, like I don't know, like the actual like specifics because kind of what an imp is. I just know usually when you see imps in like fair, uh, fantasy and stuff, they always have something to do with hell or something like that but i like immediate murder professionals i like that not responding oh what a stat it didn't do anything damn it i'm not losing another one to do clear Yo. <laughs> holy shit it actually worked he appears to be in stable condition but he'll need surgery now what insurance provider do you freaks have the fuck is insurance? Kids die for free. That's I'd like to go up. on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a. I was sitting here trying to wonder why were they trying to save that person's life, but now I understand they were trying to shoot somebody else, but ended up killing the kid at the same. Okay. Dick Moxie. You sit. Sit on a, and the, the D 
do your job! Trash. Okay, now, we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, IMP. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! Ah! I'm sorry, my spiders! What kind of gift is that? God damn it. Uh, excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. She reminds me of the character off of, I forget her name, uh, Parks and Rec. Right? The one with the kind of nonchalantness in her face and everything. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I... I feel like if you're a furry, this is like a dream kind of kind of chick right here, right? Furries, the guy who dress up in like the furry stuff. I can't get with it, but I know that it's a whole entire fan base. But this this looks like a, like a, like an ideal costume or an ideal kind of fictional character you would be attracted to right <laughs> i could see the merit right i have the made, work made it all thick and everything and stuff first hangover right now why would you drink on a work night i'm hung over from this morning dumbass isn't that my lunch you know what i can't take this assault right now i need to blow off some fucking steam Blitz, Kicking that the baby to do it. is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. He sounds a little dtf -y. Oh, God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Got the buck, got the buck. Got this fucking oh. heavy buck. Ugh. Oh, oh shit! So I I must I must took that that dude. Y'all was telling me in the comments that it was a dude, that owl looking dude. Um, now I understand, okay, why he was calling why he was calling him back, right? I mean, we still got a little bit more to go. Why he was calling him back? Like, hey, you know, want to do that again and whatnot? All right, I'm glad I watched this. Whole lot more insight. Sorry, I fucked your husband. I heard you already! Oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people <laughs> die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. This is the same thing he was doing when they were in the forest. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. <laughs> Why are all the chicks in here so thick, bro? While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Okay, really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? What you dreaming about? <laughs> I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back. Oh, you sound like a cat. <laughs> of all the kids in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate! Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack! I am calm! 
They're there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside work hours, so don't judge do sound effects, me. bruh. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. Bro, he's still there. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. How did a kid get there? I can't remember. I could have sworn they were on a, the living world, right? And then they fell down with the table. I can't remember where they fell out on. That doesn't make any sense. Why is he still there? All right, I'm pretty sure. Uh, see, they fell down with him. I'm not too sure. I'm on, I don't even know if they say anything about that, but that's so random. Unless they're still in the living world, but I don't think so. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? <laughs> it's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey now, that's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? That didn't I make it any you better. for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> can read. He is good. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick, I guess there is a god. <laughs> you know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can, like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. <laughs> you know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall. You're welcome. Yo, oh. Oh, what a thrill. I don't know, man. I feel a little bit weird. Just what? Hey, something wrong with that. Yo, uh, looking at this, uh, hold on. This part right here is reminding me of that one news uh, clip where uh, somebody, had, <laughs> somebody had a drawing of somebody that was missing and it was so horribly drawn, but it actually led to them finding the missing person. <laughs> Sometimes, man, the devil is in the lack of details, right? <laughs> and the news reporter couldn't—he couldn't take it seriously because it looked so poor, poorly drawn. <laughs> but okay, all right. So we finally got through the pilot. Now that brings in uh, makes makes a lot of connections to the first thing that I looked at. And now I think I'm hopefully caught up, right? Because it was hell of a boss, and then we had the hell of a boss episodes. And obviously, this type of stuff takes time to make. So hopefully, I'm all caught up, and we're waiting for episode two. You guys let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.